Hi everybody, it's Bia from Bia Quilter again. Um, I don't know if you subscribe to EQ's um, Electric Quilts newsletter, but recently they showed that they had um, the EQ Stash 2018, the first download of the year, was available for sale for, here it says $7.95. Um, Anyway, it is a great. It's pretty cheap, and instead of going to the different manufacturers and downloading each individual fabric and have to sort it on your computer, they've done it all. It's easy peasy. You buy it, add it to your cart, and download it. And then right here in your downloads folder, you will go to Windows Explorer and downloads. You'll see the icon with the EQ stash, and um, sorry then you double click on it and install it and it's really easy it'll take just a few minutes well I guess depending on your download speed but it's it's not super big so it won't take long to download or install then when you come into EQ 8 and you open it up you'll see your libraries and fabric library normally you have your default palette right here and there's different colors if you make sure it says EQ8 libraries, you scroll all the way down. There's EQ stash online. Double click that or click that and then the little plus will show the download number one. So if you add on and you have more and more, it'll show up and you'll see it here. So now you'll then go in and you can see your downloads, the different, it's sorted by alphabetical in alphabetical order right here this one's a fun one did you know you can um, change the icons and you can see more details of the fabric right here it also shows a little number of how many are in the collection so sometimes I'll work on a pattern and I need to have I don't know 20 fabrics. So then I would look at one and say, okay, that one has 32. That's fine. I'm using a down arrow on my keyboard, by the way. This one has 16. So if I'm making a pattern for 20 colors, that line wouldn't work. Or maybe I would add some solids in there. Whatever. You can kind of work on it here. Let's see. This one is fun. Free Spirit. Just scrolling through really quick. Ooh, little kitty cat. Look at that one. That one looks cute. Leaves, diamonds, owls. You know me, I love owls. So that one was, let's see, Michael Miller, Fantasy Woods. We'll come back to that one. Actually, let me go up and do it right now. I'll do Control A and add to sketchbook. Then I can come back and of course, it's not going to delete it off your computer if I go back up. It's here still. These are cute. Moda, Harmony, Mighty Machines, Cute Boy Quilt, Mermaids. I've worked with these fabrics. They're adorable. Northcott, Riley Blake, Cute Bunnies, 4th of July. I've worked with this fabric too. Robert Kaufman, Timeless Treasures, and that's it. So, I added the one fabric in here. Let me see. I forgot if that one said that how many it had. Let me see here. How many fabrics? So if you go on a fabric tools, it'll then pop it in at the very end. So that's 5, 10, so 14 fabrics. So see right here. That's just adorable. I don't know, I'm just clicking them so I can see them. You can also click this little detach button and then you can see the fabric right here. I'm big. I rarely use that, but you can if you want. There's more. I'm not really doing any particular order here. So 
So yeah, this is a 16 block layout. Let's say instead, let's just work on blocks. Um, let's see. You know what? Let me just go into the block library and maybe modify something. I don't know if I've shown this before. I just added that on point block instead, and I want to show you something. Here we go. Hold down control and click, it'll show up in all of them. In all of them, if you do control A, it'll be the alternate block. So anyway, doesn't matter. Now here, the fabric is gonna show up or go into EQ straight up and down but this block is on point and that's not how you're going to cut it you would cut it straight a grain so it actually would be turned so right here you can rotate the fabric that's just rotating it 90 degrees you can do advanced and do let's see 45 there you go one two three two three four then it's facing in on the square. Let's try another one. Ugh, not that one. Well, anyway. That one's kind of a little tricky one. Well, let's say maybe you had a gray solid instead. There you go. That looks nicer. You can then also say, oh, I want to swap it with this one it'll still show it straight up. So you kind of have to do all the rotating after you're completely sure of what it's going to look like. If it's for designing a quilt pattern, then you need it to look exactly right. For this, I don't know. I wouldn't really care. I want to see what it's sort of going to look like, but it would be alright. Just doing one. This one's such a pretty print. Let me go out again. This one say fit to work table. And let me do, no, just a regular border. I'm not going to worry about um, adding anything, but. Ah, here we go. Fabric tool. That one I wanted to see. How neat is that? This is where, too, the rotating the fabric works well on borders to the 90 degrees, because you just do one click to one, two, three clicks, then they're all facing inward on the border. So anyway, I hope you get the EQ stash. I'll put up a link um, on my blog post for this. It's neat and fun. You get to sit and play with all the fabrics. So have fun.